everyone, and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware for your Roland S1 synthesizer. To start, you want to check to see what your current firmware version is. In order to do that, you need to press and hold the step button. Continue to hold it down as you turn the power on, and as the device boots up, it will display a number, and you can see in this case, I'm on version 1.01. .01. So once you know that, we can turn the device off and you'll need to move over to your computer. Once you're at your computer, you can navigate to the Roland website for your particular region. And when you're there, you should look for a support section. Within the support section, there'll probably be something listed that says uh, downloads and drivers, and you can go to that area. When I went to that area, it just listed the devices that Roland has alphabetically. I simply scrolled down to S, which listed the S1 synthesizer first. I was able to click that. When you click that, you go to a page that will list a zip file that you can download. So download the zip file. Once you download it to your computer, you'll need to extract the contents. Inside of that zip folder should be a folder with a subfolder and then a bin file or a .bin file. That's the file of interest that you're going to want to use. So once you've identified that on your computer, kind of hold that off to the side so that you have easy access to it. Up next, you're going to want to connect your S1 to your computer. To do that, keep the S1 off and then attach your USB cable to your computer. Now you want to just make sure that you're using a USB cable that can transfer data and it doesn't just charge a device. Make sure it can transfer data. You can use the cable that came with the S1. Once you plug that in, you're ready to connect it to the computer. In order to do that, you need to press Shift hold it down, and then turn on the device. You'll see that it says update. Let it connect to you, your computer and have your computer recognize that. Once you have your S1 connected to your computer, you want to drag that bin file over to the root directory of the S1. So make sure that copies all the way through. Again, only move the .bin file. Do not move any of the folders. At this point, you want to eject the S1 drive from your computer, whether it's a Windows computer or a Mac. Just make sure that you eject it. And then after you eject it, you can see that the Shift button is flashing. You just need to press Shift to start the update process. And you can see the device now says OK. At that point, you can turn it off and remove the USB cable. Now, when we turn on the device, it should be updated. The first time that you turn it on, it could take a little bit longer to load, but it seems like it's operational. We could turn it off and check one more time by holding down the step button and turning on the device. You can see I am now at version 1.02. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.